Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to my Steam Backlog Journey series. Uh, this time playing Alien Breed 2, Assault. Uh, this is the second game in the series. I own three games of a from Alien Breed and... Well, if you haven't seen the first Alien Breed, check out my previous video about the Alien Breed 1 Impact. It was a quite decent shooter. Let's see if anything has updated or changed in the sequel. Or if it's just more of the same. So, looks like uh, controls and everything are the same. Don't see anything new in here. Let's just edit the game then. Ah. Okay, there's a new thing, I think. Where is it? Not entirely sure. I think there were two modes last and now there's three. So I'm gonna free play. I'm gonna do a story mode. Last time I did rookie mode, it was too easy, so I'm gonna try better on and see how, how it looks. Yep, that was the last time. Massive vessel as we dropped out of hyperspace, one much larger than the Leopold. Sensors are picking up signs of life forms on board. Slimy hostile ones, by any chance? We are entering the planet's atmosphere now. At our current rate of decay, I calculate we have roughly six hours before we impact the surface. Without the mainframe online, the Leopold's engines are just scrap metal. Get them online and get to engine control. Ensign Vance, at your service. This mm, man claims his name is Thaddeus Barnes, though I can't vouch for him. I saved your life. Status okay. Engines online. Mia, shut it down. It's gonna blow. What the hell happened? I have no idea, but it is safe to say that the Leopold's computer is no longer reliable. As I see it, our only option is boarding the other vessel through that breach in hydroponics and trying to jiggle its engines online. I'm boarding a ghost ship. If I'm not back in an hour... We'll come find you! Are the core systems intact? Let's find out. What the hell? <laughs> I'll call you back. What is that thing? Conrad, are you there? Time is running out. You need to lower the rods into the pools and fire the engines or we all die. Conrad, do you read me? Even if you live to be a thousand, most of the time, you're just bullshitting yourself. Beneath the veneer of life lies a savage and brutal truth of pain and suffering that I accept, but make no mistake. This ghost ship just picked the wrong son of a bitch to mess with. Okay, that was pretty creepy. I got two weapons. No items. The rest looks to be the same. Yeah, camera control is still strange. Camera is currently very strange. Zero eight. I think in the last game the camera was from uh, under a bit different. Uh, corner or something. Okay, that's where I came from, it seems. God damn, this camera is so strange. Oh. Oh, 
power source it depends. What's that thing growing there? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Systems malfunction. Okay. Systems powering down. Okay. Systems offline. Why is everything always exploding? I can hear it, I can't see it. Last game, everything was exploding. This game, everything is exploding. Come on. This is kind of getting old. coming out. The same kind of enemies as last time. Nothing new yet. Interesting enough. Would have thought that in this game enemies would be new or something I haven't seen yet, but nope. Same old okay, fragment, they're locked, they're locker, they're the UI everything is the same. Camera control is really strange. Where? Oh, behind me. Okay. Emergency systems activated. Or not. I have to go down there. Great. Wait a bit. A bit. Let's take this. Uh, Systems malfunction. I'll take this rack grenade. Something Systems should be up there. Break the fuse. Break your fuse is just... I can't even turn my camera here. Oh my god, this game is a lot worse than previous one. Why? Why did they make it like this? Emergency systems activated. Power systems normal. Okay. So, uh, power for what? This and this. What? Oh! It's a big spike. Okay. What was that about? I don't understand how or what the log is supposed to be. On 10th November, Galactic Standard at 3:31 a.m. ship time, the Terran diplomatic vessel UCS Leopard is returning home and without warning, it 
it uh, when without warning it prematurely emerges from high and collides at near light speed with an unknown falling structure orbiting an unnamed ice planet ringed by a dead asteroid belt. However, half the Leopard's crew of uh, 400 are killed in the impact, the engine's dead and the ship's mainframe suddenly displaying erratic behavior, the Leopard fused inex inextricably to the larger craft is now on a slowly decaying orbit above the above the ice planet. Unless something is done, both ships will strike the surface at massive velocity within six hours. Conrad, the Leopold's laconic chief engineer, is informed by the female synthetic ex executive officer, Lieutenant uh, Mamaya, that uh, according to sensory data, the space alternative struck is over 200 years old and though of human manufacture is unidentifiable and uh, teeming with hostile alien hordes. Some of which have already boarded the uh, Leopold and begun feasting on wounded crew members. With the ship's computer currently offline, Mia uh, instructs Connor to make his way to the Leopold's engine room in a desperate attempt to raise sufficient power to wobble the ship loose. Connor battles his way to the engine room where he encounters two other servers, Ensign, uh, Vance, and a cargo lifter named Barnes. Together they manage to restore the ship's power, but the moment it comes online, the mainframe overloads, causing a power surge and crippling the ship further. Mia tells Conrad that the Leopold computer is hereby unreliable and asks him to cross over to the Space Hulk uh, to the to a hull breach. Mia claims she might be able to control the mainframe by remote uh, by remote if he can re-establish power and get its uh, long disused engines online. Bart and the reluctant clients promise to join Conrad on board the ghost ship upon completion of necessary repairs in the engine room, which Barnes claims will require roughly an hour. Conrad reaches the breach and crosses to the other ship just as they enter the ice planet's asteroid belt. Aboard the Hulk, he finds uh, the node remains of myriad long dead human crew members, their bones long since picked clean by the indi indigent. indigent? Alien population. Finally, reaching the coolant chamber, he activates the core systems. The moment Connor flicks the switch, the long dead space hulk flickers to sinister life. From the now boiling fluid in the coolant chamber, a massive squid like monstrosity rises from the pool, blocking Connor's exit. Time to plant for 3 hours 15 minutes. Okay, so this is just like a uh, log to tell what happened in the last game. And uh, it seems that quite a lot actually happened in the last game quite a lot more than was visible in the first mission which is good I guess sounds like a pretty long game okay let's let's just continue on guess we'll go in here now okay that was a little jump scare and this wasn't This is a bit atmospheric game at least. Kinda if into the immersion then uh, if I'm into the immersion then it actually get can kinda of affect me. Then I go through here. There can be aliens in uh, these eggs or something. Generator console. Oh, looks like a big gas generator. And electricity comes down. Yep. Door online. Door online. Wow. 
Okay. Something is really uh, shaking here. Oh, shotgun, oh, nice. Is there anything else around here? More shotgun. Uh, body search. I need a stun grenade. Okay, so one bath currently. Where did it go from? That guy fell into far, far away area. Oh, there it is. There's the body in the water. <laughs> Lol. Anything coming from there? Nope. Oh. Stuff. Let's see if the index in the terminal is in the different. No, actually it's not. It's actually strange that uh, this very old ship has the same uh, index system that that the Leopold has. Like, what? How how did you not think about it? So, do I have like uh, any new upgrades? No, oh, same upgrades that they don't have anymore. Wow. Amazing. Poor game design, in my opinion. Thank you for choosing. Not even gonna save this one. Okay, so what else do we have in here? Anything uh, fancy? So, uh, more robot. I can see the. Uh, floor under the water if, if there should be a, a tentacle monster here then uh, then it will be unrealistic already Room. Oh, what? You can't chug, go over it, really? Uh, do it the controls, okay. Oh, another uh, passage, fine. Why? Why do I have to? I can't change the camera. Uh, okay. Okay, elevator. Come on! Okay. I was pressing space, but it wasn't space that I need to press. I actually need to press uh, right click. I forgot about that. That's why it didn't work there. Okay. I guess I have a helpful here now body searched what 
How dare you? Okay. Uh, okay. Security level not authorized. I guess I have to run around here. Okay, if I uh, if I make a save game here, Welcome does it uh, bring my life back? No, it doesn't. I really don't like the default controls, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, jeez. Oh, I mean. That was a bit wrong timing. What do you want from me? So the gas doesn't work for you. Uh Okay. So there's no other way to pass this area, but so. okay, I guess I had to do that. Whoa! How dare you! Hard and armor. So, is it like an item? I guess it is. I have armor now. Can't go there yet. Us back here. Anywhere else I can go. Any clearance goes for that. Oh, pump valve. Okay. Interesting. fall damaged so I need to find a new pump ball collect a replacement for pump ball yeah oh it's back there okay How dare you come from behind like that? So what happens now? The water rises Reboot the hard-on pumping system. 
or Halon, I guess Halon is the correct uh, pronunciation of this. Uh, enemy time. Let's see if my uh, assistance is here even needed. Because this does, the sentry gun does all the job with the, it seems. The job is just fine. Oh, oh yeah! So any more coming from this uh, area? Control system reboot complete. It's also interesting to try to reboot with uh, with dash. So we can finally progress. But to progress to where? What did we expect would happen? Of course, it will kill you. Everybody spawn already. Why do you not want to spawn? Checking if there was anything else here. Yes, no. Uh, are you anything? Nope. Definitely not. The fatigue is still here. So I still have fatigue issues. What is this area now? Is it where I came from? It does look like the area where I came from. Okay. I guess I came back in the circle then. So where I'm going now? I, I came all this way back and I'm going where now? Down here? Apparently. Uh, okay. The donation point. But why? Why come back here? So what did it do? Oh, this way, heading this way, heading here. And I miss somewhere. I've been here before. Looks that way. 
So we've been here before, where the hell am I even going? Oh, here, right. I had to get over this area, and there's no more water now. I already forgot that this area exists. <laughs> Silly me. Now oh, let me guess. The enemies are gonna come out while I'm riding over. Nope, actually not, because I can move. But there's somebody here. Okay. I mean, it's steep combat. Not uh, where I expected them from there. It helps. Got the clearance codes. Ah, achievement. Anything else here? Guess not. That doesn't blow up, sadly. Have to go back. here again. No more heal and gas. More enemies. Stun grenade, free crack grenade. Wow, this is okay as well. I didn't trip the code. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I still heal myself or. Uh... Oh, I am full health, so this armor is like extra health, then I guess. Well, I guess that's good. If it's extra HP. So wet in here. It also wants me to use the assault rifle a lot. I can't run fast in the water, it seems. Hey, I took a grenade! There's more and more enemy coming from behind me. Where is he? Where are you? Yeah, there he is. 
I knew I saw at least one more enemy behind me. Well, I, I can run in the water, but it's not this fast. Apparently. What do you want? Let me just search this human corpse. Flood control. control it's just flood control, not drainage control. Come on. Cooling system engaged. Even though it's the same thing. Cooling system. Okay. So let's water now. So how long is this first mission? Don't even care about that. I don't even think I have enough. Uh, enough money to, for upgrades right now. Okay, or maybe maybe I should check for something. Welcome to Intech Systems. <sighs> okay, upgrades, weapons, assault rifle. Yeah, no damage boosted. Thank you for choosing Intex. We do have more ammo this time around in the game than last time. Okay, let's use this and mob it too. Stun grenade. Flat gate control. Safety door locks disengaged. Stand by. Access granted. Wow. So what should be back here? Anything? You said what? Did you say anything? Another console. Flood safety door locks disengaged. Activate the final flood gate. So the path here. How can I access it? Do I access it from here? Probably from there. Whatever that is. More enemies! Wow. We actually. Ah, uh, my armor is off. Flood console. Flood safety door locks disengaged. Access granted. Ooh. That's a small guys. And the other guys as well. Oh, 
it's up there. Those guys are actually a bit scary. The big ones that look like uh, bipedals. 500 credits. Bye. Okay. So we have more credits. Uh, uh, human corpse. Another human corpse and a salt rifle. Oh, look, there's a log. Maybe there's something cool in that log. Okay, um, I'll just, the log is just for the enemy types. It is already fair in the first game, so nothing new. Pretty boring still. I'm trying to do. do play until the end of the level but it's uh, it's not very fun so far okay Enemies behind me now. Where are you at, guys? I heard you. Oh, there you are. Okay. Next terminal. Let's uh, buy those upgrades. Welcome to Intech Systems. Assault rifle. Okay. Just like last time, so I was able to get the upgrade before the end of the level. I'm pretty sure that the end of the level is also coming very soon. So. Uh, Thank you for choosing Intex. Yep. Oh look, it's a kind of big creature. So um, are we getting a boss fight now? Hey, it's a big creature. Can't really dodge it. The attacks. There's no dodge mechanic in the game. Is it coming to the inside now? No, it's going that way. Okay. 
mean, it's actually scotchable, I guess. So far, so good. I'm pretty sure it's not dead. It's gonna come in the middle now. Or not. Not the end of the... Red. If I can buy a sentry gun just to put it there. Welcome to Intech Systems. Items. No, I need three thousand. Okay. Thank you for choosing Intex. Any sentry gun around here? Sentry guns. Sentry guns. Okay. So what of you? I understand. Wow, what is that thruster? It's a thruster. Engine control online. I'm gonna see if there's anything here. Shotgun and ammo. Nothing of interest found. Got 500 credits. More credits. Oh look, enemies are waiting for me now until this one finishes. Engine control online. Okay, let's just stop. Wow, engines. Another malfunction. So I guess that was the first mission, or not? Oh, there's still something else to do. Okay, let's finish this mission. If I go down, what happens? We find the salt token.
okay. Come on, I just went down there. Okay, you are such a dick. Hello. Okay, so am I stuck in here or something? Camera okay, control is so strange. Have a nice day. Hey, what the fuck? Okay. I guess I'm gonna use the shotgun because uh, assault rifle doesn't have much ammo. They are so chasing me. They're stuck. Okay. Where am I going now? Here, I guess. And further up we go. <sighs> this is already a longer mission than the first mission in the first game was. This nothing going here then. Was that the exit? Come on, how fucking long is this first mission? I'm getting tired of this already. It's so freaking boring. Any more upgrades? Welcome to Intex Systems. I don't think there's upgrades. I just need ammunition. Thank you for choosing Intex. Not seeing anything that's fun in this game. Oh, what is a bit like 
one, but it's so basic there's not many enemies. Doesn't follow my mouse correct. The camera is so bad. Yeah, obviously I'm not happy about this game. Okay. So what is this supposed to be now? Ambush? Come on, just turn around. You can't, you can't run down and shoot up, but you can uh, walk down and shoot up, like what the hell game? Strange game. Well, nice. The bridge is going through into each other. Wow. Oh, that was a sentry gun. Right, of course it was. Don't even give a shit. Just have to finish up with the stable because it's boring as fuck. This was a boring mission. Well, compared to Alien Breed 1, there was no improvement. The same old weapons, you don't keep your upgrades, uh, you don't keep your money, you don't see any new weapons. At least compared to the start of Alien Breed 1, the enemies are the same, their character is the same. The, the only thing that I, I, I saw was different, I got this uh, in a um, optional area, I got the hardened body armor, which actually helped out a lot, but, uh, but mostly, nope. It's, it's, it's bad compared to the first game, much worse. And uh, if the second, if the third game goes the same pattern, I guess that's why the Alien Breed sequel or trilogy wasn't that good at all, I guess, because they did not improve, they just made more of the same, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty shite, don't recommend. <sighs> okay, but... We're, we're still gonna visit Alien Breed 3 next time and see if there's any change there or not, so see you then, bye bye.